This tutorial is an introduction to the basic functions of EMEM, effects memory, on the Cayenne and Carrera switchers. The Cayenne and Carrera switchers use the same software operating system and their EMEM functionality is identical. The main difference between the two switcher models is the number of master EMEM levels that can be accessed from the panel. The EMEM system used in Grass Valley switchers has been the main operating premise and has not changed much since its inception. EMEM is designed to provide a quick way for an operator to learn partial or full switcher setups into switcher memory and recall them. The effects memory is divided into levels, some of which are fixed and some of which are programmable. The fixed EMEM levels are those for the mix effects or ME banks. Each ME bank has a dedicated EMEM control level referred to as a local EMEM. Cayenne has dedicated buttons for each local EMEM level located on each stripe of the panel, including one for the program preset ME. The Carrera panel also has local EMEM sections for all MEs except for the lowest ME bank, which is usually assigned the program preset ME. Master EMEM on both switchers has controls for the fixed ME levels including program preset plus additional level buttons. The additional EMEM level buttons on a Carrera panel are eight miscellaneous buttons which are programmable plus two programmable buttons for the optional EDPM. The Cayenne also has buttons for the optional EDPM levels but has 19 programmable miscellaneous level buttons. In the Cayenne, the miscellaneous level buttons can be labeled with a four character name to identify their function. While most EMEM learn and recall functions are performed from the panel, all EMEM controls are also available in the menu. The EMEM and Timeline menu has six submenus for use with building effects. The Recall Run menu shows all of the levels available for control from Master EMEM. The Master EMEM levels are the same for both Cayenne and Carrera. Note that on Carrera, only the first eight miscellaneous buttons are represented on the Carrera panel and the two EDPM buttons are relocated to be below them. Note also that on both switcher models there are two ME EMEM level buttons named primary and secondary associated with each ME. The secondary ME level button will only be active if the ME is operating in split mode. Split mode is an option for the Carrera but is standard on the Cayenne. If the ME is not in split mode, all of the ME functionality is controlled by the ME primary level buttons. The local EMEM levels for the MEs are the same as those controlled from the master EMEM. The difference being that the master EMEM can control a variety of enabled levels while the local EMEM normally only controls its own ME functions. There are 1,000 EMEM registers in both Cayenne Carrera switchers, numbered from 0 to 999. A single EMEM effect is referred to as being stored in a register. So EMEM effect 37 is said to be stored in register 37. 10 registers form a bank and 10 banks form a page. So effect 238 would refer to the storage located on page 2, bank 3, register 8, or it could simply be referred to as register 238. It is often easier to think of each level as having 1000 registers, as register 5 on ME1 is different from register 5 on ME2. When controlled from the master EMEM, however, Recalling Register 5 would normally recall both Register 5s on both ME1 and ME2 together. On the local ME panel, when working within a bank of 10 registers, the learn operation is performed by pressing two buttons, learn followed by a number. So, if we are in page 2, bank 3, to learn the current state of the ME, we can simply press learn followed by the number 8. This will learn the current state of the ME into register 238. 
The same operation could also be performed from the master EMEM by selecting just the ME that we wish to learn and if already on page 2, bank 3, pressing learn then register 8. With just one master EMEM level enabled, the local EMEM learn operation and master EMEM learn operations are the same. Similarly, recalling an effect from the master EMEM and the local EMEM are also the same, but only if a single level is being controlled. To recall effect number 238 when page 2, bank 3 are already selected, as displayed on the left hand side of the EMEM readout display, all that is required is to press number 8 for an instant recall of that effect. To learn or recall from different pages or banks, enter the page number first if needed, then the bank number before performing the learn or recall operation. The order is not important, so pressing learn, page 2, bank 3, and 8 is the same operation as selecting page 2, bank 3, then pressing learn and the number 8. In practice, this means that there is always instant access by pressing one of the numbered registers 0 to 9 for whichever page and bank is currently selected. Changing banks is made easier by the dedicated bank buttons to the right of the keypad. These buttons provide quick selection of banks 0, 1, 2, and 3, and by double pressing the buttons, quick access to banks 4, 5, 6, and 7. This provides fast access to 80 effects. Banks 8 and 9 can be accessed using the bank button. The Recall Run menu provides visibility of which registers have effects stored in them as shown by the default name of E for EMEM and the three digits of the register number. The effect name of up to eight characters is displayed in the EMEM display as well as in the menu. The comment window allows a more detailed description of each effect to be provided, but is only visible in the menu. Next, we'll consider what is actually being learned or recalled from EMIM. In this introduction, we will only consider the basic learn and recall operations. Note that there are other EMIM features that are covered in the additional tutorials, such as EMIM preferences, timelines, and sublevels. All of these features can affect the way the basic EMIM learns and recalls operate. So if your switcher operates differently than described here, refer to additional tutorials. When a learn is performed into a register for a local EMIM, the switcher will remember the current state of all of the local ME functions including all selected sources on all ME buses, transition settings such as mix, wipe, and key states, transition rates, all keyer settings for all six keyers, IDPM settings, and so on. In other words, by default, EMEM remembers everything related to the current state of the local ME bank being learned, regardless of whether those parameters are being used in an effect or not. This provides a very quick way to capture the current state of a single ME bank. EMEM only remembers the sources being selected and not the actual images on them. For example, learning an EMEM register using an image store channel only remembers which image store channel is selected and not the image that is being used. There are ways to have a local EMEM control more than just the local ME, or less than the complete ME, as well as to remember which image store image is being used. These concepts will be covered in another tutorial. When recalling an EMEM register, all of the ME parameters stored will return to the state that was saved when the register was learned. This provides a very quick way to instantly recall hundreds of different pre-built switcher effects. Refer to additional tutorials for building basic effects, effects dissolves and sequences, master EMEM levels, timelines, and keyframes, sublevels, and path control. This completes the tutorial on the introduction of email.